This is very different from anything we've done before, which we love. Because, you know, we're always trying to surprise everybody in the community by showcasing something they've never thought of or seen before. We love this because it's sculptural, but it's also plants, which is kind of our DNA. We're all about plants. And I have seen images of this kind of work coming out of Montreal for the last 10 years. And I fell in love with it in 2003. And at that point, I was dreaming, could we ever get it here? And here we are in 2013, and it's become a reality. We're the first um, time that it's ever been in the United States. So it's great to be a leader, but you learn a lot from others if they've done it before you. We're excited that we're the first ones who have ever done it. Um, but we've learned a lot as we've gone. So the, the first step was just to connect with our friends at Mosaic Culture to see if they thought this garden would be the right place to host and showcase such an exhibition because they never have done it in our country. And we, once we got together, we realized it was a perfect marriage between their work and our garden. And then it was really about doing great design and making sure we had iconic pieces that would draw visitors and excite visitors and awake, awaken their imaginations. In design for well over a year. So first is, what are the images, what are they going to look like, and how will they integrate into the garden? So we have these beautiful watercolors of the images that we've used and how they would integrate into our garden. And then they have to build the frames, and then they have to plant them, irrigate them, let the plants grow, and then ship them. That part of the process took, they were working on the frames last fall, and they planted them in January. So it took four months to plant and get them here and probably another four to five months to build the structures. Our friends in Montreal know what plants have worked well in Montreal, China, and Japan, the three places where they have done this exhibition. Um, Atlanta has a very different client climate than all of those places. Our staff, our horticulturists, know what, what will grow well here. So, in some cases, Earth Goddess's hair, we're using plants that our friends in Montreal have never used before. Uh, a sweet potato vine that we'll have to keep pruned, lantana, they're heat tolerant, they're drought tolerant, they need water, but they're, they're tough plants. And um, then there are plants like the succulents, the echeveria, and the alternantheria that work uh, well here as well as in Montreal. But there were some that they wanted us to try, and so last year they sent us those plants, and we put them in containers out in the hot sun. And the ones that did well are the ones we've used in the exhibit. The ones that could not tolerate that condition, we don't use. to be a child again <laughs> and you know it's also got that sophistication that adults like that's what I love about the exhibit because they're fanciful but they're creative and they're sculptural pieces of art that could be in any museum and um, then there's that what you and I were talking about a little while ago that sense of wonder of how are they made how do the plants grow where's the water coming from so that curiosity is also a big factor with this exhibition beauty, art, nature, and we're the gateway to the environment. Come and commune with nature in the garden.